The National Police Detectives Division has named former Deputy Justice and Human Rights Minister Denny Indriana a suspect in a corruption case linked to the Immigration Office's online passport application service. National Police Spokesman Senior Commissioner Riquanto made the announcement in a short voice message. The police are set to question Denny as a suspect on Friday. Denny's legal counsel denies there were any state losses resulting from the project. He says a 5,000 rupee fee demanded from taxpayers. One of the key aspects of the case was an official cost with a legal basis. The case emerged as relations between the police and the Corruption Eradication Commission deteriorated and after Denny vocally criticized the police's pursuit of historic criminal cases against KPK leaders. Andy Shamsul Bahri accused Denny of corruption in the passport program on February 10th after the spat following Police Commissioner General Budi Gunawan's naming as a graft suspect. The following day, the detective's office began questioning 21 people about the case, including former Justice and Human Rights Minister Amir Shamsuddin. Police say they have suspected wrongdoing in the case since December, after the state audit agency completed its audit of the project. Detectives say the state lost 32 billion rupiah and there was also an illegal levy imposed that netted 605 million rupiah. Danny says the case is an attempt to punish him for defending the KPK. Deputy Police Chief Commissioner General Badrodin Haiti denies that accusation and says the police will take the case to court.